Silence is easy It just becomes me You don't even know I lie about me Hi guys, this is How To Play Silence Is Easy by Star Sailor uh, Your super easy song with two chords E major and A major um, If you've just come from the Absolute Beginners first lesson you'll have learned For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield which was one bar of E and one bar of A major and you've learned how to change between them. This song is really really similar but it's just two bars of E and two bars of A. So you play each chord for twice as long. I was doing it with a kind of higher level strumming pattern there so um, we're just going to go for the one with bars and beats first of all just playing on the first beat of each bar playing on beat one. So uh, we'll play it, start off with an E major, E again and then two A's and that's what we're going to loop okay so I want you to play along with me first of all start off with your E major in one two three four one two three E again one two three then an A one two three four one back to an E major E two three Two, change to A, A, two, three, four, A, two, end on your E. Perfect. Remember to make sure that we've got all your fingers at this side of the fret. So if you're going for, say, first fret, if you're going for this area here, make sure you're at this side of the fret and uh, then it will ring out, sound really great rather than being at this side where it might not sound too great and be right on the tips of your fingers if you want to look from this angle I'm giving loads of room to the uh, the fingers here what I normally do with my students is see if I can get a pencil through this area here some people kind of uh, touch the bottom of the guitar and uh, that way you're never going to hear those top couple of strings so uh, right on the tips of your fingers kind of like that claw hand I mentioned in the first video and that'll be great you change to your A by sliding that first finger along to the second fret and then going for the A. Of course that first finger is not going to be too far along in, in that fret but you can press on with that one a little bit harder hopefully. Okay look, let's go for this same chord sequence now but uh, on every beat. So you're just going to strum every time you're counting in your head one, two, three, four. Okay? Everything on a down strum which is how we default when we learn most songs. In one, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Down, down, then an A. Down, two, three, four. One, two, back to an E. One, two, three, four. One, two, then an A. One, two, three, four. One, two, end on your E chord and then E. Perfect. This is a song that you, even without a capo or anything, you can play along to the record. Um, before you do that, I've got the lyrics in front of me, I'm going to have a bash at singing it, and if you can play along to me singing it, then you'll be able to play along to the record. But a lot of people prefer to kind of hear my strumming so that they can join in for it. If that's something that you want, we're going to have a go for it now. We'll go for one round of the chord sequence, and then please just repeat it on the beat, and I'm going to be singing the verses and then the chorus. It'll last about a minute and then we'll stop. Okie dokie. In. From your E chord. In one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then an A. One, two, three. Okay, keep that going. Now I'm going to sing. Everybody says that they're looking for a shelter. Got a lot to give, but I don't know how to help her. I should just let it go till they learn how to grow and how to liberate. Back to E, same thing. Everybody 
Everybody says that she's looking for a shelter Got a lot to give but I don't know how I felt her They should just let it go Till these cities learn to grow And how to liberate For us two, three, four It just becomes me You don't even know me So I lie about me And on your E, three, four Perfect. If you kept up with that all the way along to the end, fantastic stuff. If you didn't, as I say, this might be the second or third song that you've gone for ever. So no pressure at all. Um, just try and get your changes um, fast enough. Or if you're still kind of struggling between the changes, just play along to me with just an E chord. It will sound absolutely fine. Play along to things. It will help your time in. And that's kind of the main thing. Um, in, in my opinion, Joe Public, when they're hearing the chords, doesn't know an E or an A from, from anything. Um, but they will be able to tell if you're in time or not. It's a really big performance skill. Um, okay, up. We're now going to go for the slightly higher level, uh, higher level strumming pattern of all downs with eighth strumming. So what is eighth strumming? At the moment, when you're playing on the beat, we're playing to a count of four and we're strumming every time. So we're strumming four times per bar or splitting a bar into four. That's fourth strumming. What we do when we have eight strumming is we play on a count of eight and we kind of play twice as many, twice as fast. Um, it's called playing on the on beat and on the off beat, which are in between each count. We kind of count it as an and. So one and two and three and four and... Or at this stage, to be honest, you can just think about it as playing twice as many, twice as fast. If you do it right, it's all good with me, because then we'll know how to play another song. At the moment, it sounds like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And with this new strumming pattern, like I did at the start of the video, and like they do in the song, it goes one and two and three and four and down, 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 down. And it will give it this kind of driving quality, which is used in uh, a couple of the other songs in this uh, stage and at the higher stages. So um, it'll be really cool if we could get it now. If not, just keep going with the first one until you can have a go. But you could also, as I say, play just the E chord and have a go at this higher level strumming pattern. More strumming tends to sound better guitar than just more chords, okay? So just stay on the E chords. And play along to me, we're going to go down, 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 down. In, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. Stay on E, stay on E. And that's to a count of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Or just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to see if we can put that in the same chord sequence that we did before, and it should sound really great. Uh, so two bars of E, two bars of A, but with this new strumming pattern. In one, two, three, four. One and two and three. And change to an A. One and two and three and four. And one and two. Back to E. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, one, two, and finish on your E. Perfect. And if you can do that, then you can play it along to the record. It's not too fast. It's a really quite a slow song, and that would be great. It's another song um, checked off your list. That could be, you know, an another song you've got in your repertoire. And if you can play it onto the record, then you know you're doing it right. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. I hope that was fun. Uh, please subscribe if you like what I do and I'll make you more beginners videos and I'll see you real soon.